Welcome to the Herbarium How-Tos. Today we're going to learn how to collect a plant. Maybe you need to collect a plant because you're doing a systematic study, or maybe you're studying pollinators, or the plants that are living in a region. So let's see how to collect a specimen that is going to go to a herbarium. First, you need three things. You need a notebook, you need some tools, and you need a plant. Which tools do you need? First, you need clippers. There are several kinds of clippers, like the small ones, hand clippers. You can also have bigger ones for big bushes or things that are woody. Maybe you need to collect a tree. So for those ki kinds of plants, you need big tools like this. We're going to show you how to use this in a moment. Other tools you need are a notebook. This is very, very important. You also need an archival pen, some markers, and a bag for your samples. Let's start. First thing you have to do is taking notes in your notebook. These are vital information that later on are going to be used to make the labels for your specimens. So which kind of information we need? First, we need the date. After the date, you have to put the locality as precise as you can. Your country, your state, your precise location, your city, as much detail that you can put is wonderful. Even your coordinates, if you have them. Um, then you have to describe the habitat you're in at that moment and um, the people that are with you collecting the specimens. Always put your name first and then the names of the other people that are with you collecting the samples. This is the plant that we're going to collect first. So you need to assign a collection number to it. You always use consecutive numbers, starting from one and to the infinitum. So I let, left off in 2,493. So I'm going to continue with 2,494. And then I'm going to say um, the name of the plant, but I don't know the name of the plant. So I leave that space blank. Then you put the family uh, of that plant that I know and I know it's in the Asteraceae family. If you don't know, it doesn't matter. You just leave it blank. And then I'm going to put some information about the plant that I can miss when the plant is dry, like the flowers are white. Something else to say? Um, maybe something about the environment. You can say that it's close to a road, and that's it. For herbs, you want to collect the whole individual, including some roots. So we're going to dig up this a little bit. Ooh, to dig it out. Let's see. Whoa, it's a rock here. Let's okay. Let's remove the soil. And here we are. This is a very nice individual and it's going to be a beautiful specimen. Now we can put it in the back. You don't want to mix your samples, so it's a good idea that you put the number that you put in your notebook here in the back. And in that way, you just close this one and use another bag for the next specimen. This is the second plant we're going to collect. In this case, we have a woody plant. So the first thing we search in our bush is a nice piece with flowers or fruits. And then we're going to clip that branch. You don't want a very tiny piece. You don't want a big piece that then you're going to waste too much. Um, so the nice size is more or less between your elbow and your wrist. That's where you want to clip. And this would be a wonderful specimen. And with bushes, it's very nice to have a duplicate. So we're going to search for another nice branch that we can uh, have. Let's see, this one is nice. So we do the same, more or less the same size, and we clip. Here we go. Something that we should avoid is to have a very little specimens, just a piece of leaf and with a piece of flower. We want something that we can see the stems and how the leaves are attached to the stems and how the flowers are attached to the stem. 
So this is a very nice specimen, the same as this one. And I think they're going to be very pretty in a herbarium sheet. This is our third sample. We have here a nice tree with fruits. So I'm going to clip this branch because I think if I clip here, I can have my specimen with duplicates. So this is the piece that we just cut. So as you see, uh, we have fruits in this one and then we can make three nice specimens. So now with the small clippers, I will have one specimen in the, with this branch, two specimens with this and three. So we're going to have three duplicates from this branch. Now that we're done collecting, we're going to press the plants in the next tutorial. Let's go.